Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding. This week's episode, we're going to be talking about the top five reasons to move to Colorado to shred. That's right. You want to move here? I'm going to tell you what you need to know to move here. Number five, everything is epic or iconic. So if you want epic lift lines, epic burgers, epic prices, great. If you want to experience iconic parking problems, iconic traffic, Colorado's for you. Come on in. Come on in. Number four. You're from California. You already fucked that state up. So why don't you move here and make it California? I mean, come on. We've got the sunshine. We've got the mountains. We don't have beaches, but you can go river surfing if you want to. So since you've already screwed up California beyond belief, just move here and just fuck up Colorado some more. Looking at you. You know who you are. Number three. You've always wanted to experience the income inequality gap in a shred town. So why not move here? Oh, $10 an hour and your rent is $2,500 for a 300 square foot crap shack? Come on in. No health benefits with this job, but you're gonna get injured shredding, so here's a $25,000 bill. That's right, the income inequality gap. Best place to experience it? any of the high-profile Colorado shred towns. Why don't you come check them out with me? Let's go live the income inequality gap together. Number two, you've never driven in snow in your life and you want to learn how? I-70 is the greatest stretch of highway in the United States to learn this on. What? Rear wheel drive convertible with Florida plates and low profile tires? Come on out. Screw those new chain laws and traction restrictions that they put out. You're getting to the mountains and you're getting there as fast as you can in your Mustang. You're just going to put that pedal to the metal and see what happens. Fuck everyone else if they die. Seriously. Don't know how to drive in snow? Best place you could fucking do it is I-70. And if traffic's bumper to bumper, that means just honk your horn all day and try to push them out of the way with your rear wheel drive. Chains, who gives a fuck? Seriously, no one in the state knows how to fucking drive in snow, I'm convinced. And it shows. Honorable mentions. It's not Utah. There's legal weed and decriminalized mushrooms. So come roll your face off at the 16th Street Mall and Panhandle. Who cares? You only ride never summers, so Colorado makes the most sense. You gonna bring your bro-dozer with you? Your MMA loving dirt bike riding ass here and ride an ever summer 10 days a year. Yeah. Fucking don't forget your energy drinks. Cause it's amped. Denver is a mountain city. You can see the mountains. So you're practically there. No one tells you it's like a seven hour drive on I-70 in the winter when everyone's fighting to get powder. But hey, you wanted to live in a mountain city, so Denver is the most mountain city you could possibly choose. Not Salt Lake at all. You've always wanted to experience a 10-month winter. Spring, summer, fall? It's one season now. It's called Sprumall. You get it in about five and a half weeks, and then it's over, and it's right back to winter. I'm serious. I just took my winter tires off to put my winter tires back on my car. That's literally it. We got 20 inches of snow in the middle of June. That shit's fucked. And the number one reason to move to Colorado, you've never had to wait in a line for anything. Now you can do it with 80,000 of your closest friends every weekend. That's if you can make it to the mountains and then find parking, then make it to the actual resort, get into the lift line on the chairlift. That's right. You wanted epic everything? You get epic lift lines with iconic views. Yeah, that's right. You wanted to wait in line. I mean, skiing, snowboarding. The only time white people with privilege will wait in line for anything. So here you go. That's a Jim Gaffigan joke right there. Sometimes he's funny. So if you wanted to move to Colorado, here you go. Here's all the reasons. This has been my top five reasons to move to Colorado to shred. Do you agree? Do you disagree? 
Did I miss one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this top five. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you'd really like to support us and you want to help us escape all the epic iconicness of Colorado, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and now I'm going to go angry cry into a pillow because I live in Colorado. I'll see you in another video. Maybe. I, I don't really know anymore.